All right, Cancer. We're going to do this a little bit different today. I'm going to pull some different cards. Go from there. We're going to pull from the... Why do I never know the dang cards? Yeah, I don't know. Happy birthday, anyway. Oh, the Heal Yourself Oracle card. So we're going to figure out what it is that we need to heal and what it is that we're working on. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Make sure these aren't in reverse. But that's what we're going to do. Remember, red hearts if you made it through. Purple hearts if it resonates. Green hearts if you're working on it. I'm working on it. I know I don't know about you. I'm not perfect. I'm of a particular age. My birthday was a couple of days ago. And I'm working on a lot. Uh, alchemy came out. Can you see that? I got my light up bright today. Alchemy came out. Discover your life purpose. So that's what um, I've been doing. And sexual arts. Hmm. Very interesting. Sexual arts, alchemy, and discover your life purpose. So there you have it. We're going to pull um, also... We're going to pull from my affirmation cards or my affirmation inspiration cards by Florence Scoble Shin. If you watch any of my previous reads, you know that I read the book every day, but I also have the cards too, which is going to give us something to focus on, right? And give us a affirmation or some type of inspiration in regards to, okay, first of all, I'm not taking this. I'll read it to you because it came out. Fine. Forget it. Um, it says at the bottom of the deck, this is so... Um, I am one with infinite intelligence. I know everything I should know on this subject. That's from the per, uh, perfect self-expression chapter in the game of life and how to play it. So that is that. I'll read these other cards. Every plan my father is, my father in heaven has not planned, excuse me, every plan my father in heaven has not planned shall be dissolved and dissipated. The divine idea now comes to pass. So that is the, uh, under the chapter of intuition and guidance. Can you see that? There you have it. Um, the next one, I don't know where I'm gonna put these. The next one is uh, the law of karma. It's this from the law of karma and the law of forgiveness. Uh, infinite spirit, I call on the law of forgiveness and, and give thanks that I am under grace and not under law. And I can't lose this fill in the blank, whatever it is that you're trying not to lose, which is mine by divine right. Again, infinite spirit, I call on the law of forgiveness and give thanks that I am under grace and not under law, and I cannot lose this, whatever you don't want to lose, which is mine by divine right. Screenshot it if you need to. I hope you can see it. Wait, let me look. Right there. There you have it. And then the next one is doo -doo -doo. infinite spirit open the way for my for the divine design of my life to manifest let the genius within me now uh, now be released let me see clearly the perfect plan health wealth love and self-expression that's from uh perfect self-expression into the chapter of the game of life let me make sure you can see screenshot that this is the best book in the world. And she gives explanations in regards to what she means. Infinite spirit, don't let me miss the trick. This is from the law of non-resistance. So don't let me miss the trick is like, don't let me miss the things that is meant for, to come to me by divine right. So all of those cards came out. Going from there, somebody needs to hear that. Bottom of the deck. Sexuality. A lot of this is sexuality. Alchemy. Discover your life purpose. Um... Look at this card. I think this is what we're focusing on, which is what I'm always focusing on is what my life purpose is, uh, why, am I, why I am here, and uh, why the universe has called me to be a part of this thing called healing. So alchemy. I'll go ahead and read the book, which is right here. Card number 25. Alchemy. It says, the path you are on is about to go uh, through a very powerful transformation. Nothing is how it seems. <clears throat> it says, you have the opportunity to take a big leap in your, uh, in your level of consciousness. It is extremely important that you focus on letting go of any negativity and beliefs that no longer serve you. You have the access to the energy of alchemy, which can transfer the most uh, challenging experiences into incredible gifts and miracles. Meditate and take action of your highest goals and dreams. 
there are they are on their way to coming true it says let go of your expectations what is about to appear can surpass anything you have dreamed of the most important part of is that you are prepared and ready to receive um, the energy around you is very potent at the moment so make sure that you are using this time as pr uh, productively as possible give yourself time for prayer grat gratitude and celebration so this is what it says it says action right i hope you can see that i think i'm gonna turn this a little bit sorry because yeah anyway um anyway okay action rub your hands together vigorously for 40 seconds then place your hand a few centimeters apart visualize a gold ball of light Focus your intentions on what you would like to create and place the intentions into a golden light. Then move your hands towards your heart. Feel your heart expand and grow full. Ask your higher self to guide you towards the deepest expansion of evolution. That is alchemy. So I told you, we're working on, you know, transformation. Remember, the path you are on is about to go through a very powerful transformation. Nothing is how it seems. So that is what the alchemy card is. The next card is 29, Discover Your uh, Life Purpose. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Discovering Your Life Purpose. Boom, boom, boom. I don't know if I need to pick it up, but I will. It says, Discover Your Life Purpose. Start asking yourself, what is the meaning of life? I just told you that, right? Didn't I just say this in regards to... Okay. Anyway. As a soul who is having physical experiences, you are here to grow and learn. You are being asked to immerse yourself in this life by expanding, stretching, and understanding your reasons for being here. I think I just said that, right? I don't know. Maybe I didn't. Nothing is impossible for a soul who is following her or, or his destiny. Your guides, your guides, angels, and higher self are constantly uh, communicating with your thought, your, with you through signs, feelings, people, books, etc. Follow your hunches. You are being given important guidance which may show up via strong feelings to travel somewhere, to um, speak to someone, attend a seminar, write, paint, etc. No matter how far-fetched your inner guidance is, you need to listen. Your soul's purpose includes a combination of experiences that you, your mind doesn't understand but you, that your soul needs to process to learn how learn and grow some of these experiences will be enjoyable and heightened it says others will be challenging and cause you struggle but through them you will know yourself give yourself permission to focus on what really makes your heart sing and puts your intensity of emotions in attracting what you desire actions ask questions such as divine intelligence help me to understand what is occurring in my life and how it, it is serving my spirit what is the next step for me what is my mission here when you are asking these questions you need to give yourself some time and space to receive the answers the answers may come from a book you read a person you encounter or your inner self keep a journal of your insights that's discovering your life purpose start asking yourself what is the mean, uh, meaning of your life? So I think that's what I said. I can't remember. But this is this is the meaning. This is why we're here. This is why you're hearing me. This is why it was meant for you to get into this read right here. This is what uh, we are called to by the universe. You know, um, my reads uh, aren't basic. They're timeless. They're not just for a particular po uh, person time date or energy you know it is for you to get it when it's time for you to receive it um i always said my guardian angels were watching over me because in the time of doubt fear or un the unknown um somebody somebody someplace or somebody you know or something would come up to me or bring to my attention there would be a song there would be something some type of memory of the reason why i started or why i was going through it and that means that excuse me, random people would uh, walk up to me, and I kid you not, I mean, may, uh, I mean, if my friends were here to tell you when they were with me, and my mother, my mother especially, she and my, my son, my youngest son, they're around me all the time, If and if I tell you the, the things, and the, um, hold on, my son is talking, of course, they don't believe in me recording, um, so the thing is, is that, hey, I'm recording, Hold on, because he still don't listen. He's still not listening. Anyway, so, um, you know, people would walk up to me, and they would say stuff. And I'd be like, 
are you kidding me? You know, like trying to put it together, put all the pieces together of why did somebody come up to me and say something or why? And those are your guardian angels. That is the universe sending messages to you to, to let you realize that they're watching you and they understand what you're going through and you don't have to go through it alone. And that's why with this channel and just in general, these channels are here for messages. They're not here to encourage you to go this way. They're, in, they're here to say the things that are on your mind that you probably wouldn't be able to say to another person or that another person wouldn't have the audacity to say to you, but you only know so that's why i tell you take what resonates leave what doesn't and let it sit there you know those messages if they hurt you or if they make you mad that means it's something about my message that came through that is uh, challenging your intuition or challenging something about what you have going on only you know and i always say that to you so we're discovering what your life purpose is and um like I say, for the, over the years, I figured that my life purpose is to help heal, help people to heal. I tried to do it with friends and family, but you know what? Sometimes, I mean, you can say and keep the things that, you know, you can say the things that's on your mind, but you're always judged by the people that you know. Does that make sense? But now, as of me and my growth, um, everybody is listening because they see where and how they see the energy that I, I let off and I don't let anything bother. Well, I'm not going to lie. I do some things kind of do bother me, but, but for the most part, I don't, um, I don't allow them to sit that energy to sit on me. I, I, I wash it away. I, I say my affirmations. Um, one of the affirmations in the game of life and how to play it is none of these things move me. Meaning that nothing that, that somebody else has going on moves you and makes you feel a certain way. So um, that's another one. And so the affirmation that I got and I put it together in my own words, which we'll say it together now. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, and bad energy. Those are the things that we have to let go of. Those are worn out we don't have old conversations we don't you know we don't think about the past we move forward and um the page of wands energy is yesterday is history tomorrow is a mystery the only thing that is real is the present moment so enjoy all those other things that we went through were lessons of how we are and what we and where we are today and what we what we learn from it remember no man is your enemy every man is your teacher so next we're going to go and talk to, about sexual arts bring more light into your sexuality it says keep sexuality alive in an art form uh excuse me keeping sexuality alive is an art form for um form very few people truly understand are you sexually attracted to your partner every day sex energy only occurs when you when there is a sexual polarity it says everyone has both masculine masculine and feminine qualities to eat to gift each other. The only time there is a sexual spark is when one person is embodying more of their masculine energy and the other person is embodying more of their feminine energy. The masculine is the unchanging witness, presence, directions, decision making, trying to bring everything to closure and conscious consciousness itself. The feminine is the feminine is change, life force, light, flowing movement, mother nature and emotions. Do not buy into the myth of sexual attraction eventually excuse me do not buy into the myth that sexual attraction eventually dies in long-term relationships sexual polar po, polar uh oh here she comes uh polarity sexual polarity is an art that makes practice it can be uh so subtle at and last a lifetime if you constantly reinvent your gifts and using an open heart my grandbaby's about to come in here. I think the, her parents went downstairs. I'm not sure. Anyway, action. Feminine essence people instead of directly, excuse me, feminine essence people. Instead of directly telling your masculine partner what you want, as this tends to kill polarity, invite him into action through expressing your feelings. Your speech could be erotic and enticing in t instead of functional and efficient a functional and efficient let him know you 
how you feel and let him be inspired to direct you there masculine essence people it says your greatest gift is constant pr uh, presence it says no matter what a feminine partner is feeling or doing uh, constantly penetrate her display and see the light that is shining for you the feminine may come at you like a slap to the face or your favorite kiss stay where stay with her energy so the feminine knows that no matter what she's feeling you are there hmm. sounds good right so there you have it um at the bottom of the deck is sexuality and that's card number four <clears throat> I'm going to read it for you because it's at the bottom of the deck. Sorry, my reads are going to start taking a long time because cancer, this is art for us. We need to hear as many messages as possible. And remember, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Every message may not resonate for everyone, but don't be selfish and dislike the comment uh, when it comes to something that you don't want to hear. Sometimes messages come in form of um, hurtfulness and I'm not saying it to hurt. I'm just saying what I see on here. So just, just take what resonates. And if it does cause your hair to stand up on your arms or, you know, uh, you to feel some kind of way, only you're listening to this. Unless you're sitting here with a group of girls or guys, only you're here to listen and to get this message. So just, just you know, respect everybody's uh, energy and go from there. So anyway, sexuality. Sexuality is a nature, a natural part of life. Embrace and enjoy your intimate, sensual, passionate na uh, nature. Take time to explore your sexuality. How do you feel about yourself? Do you feel sexy, attractive, and happy with your body, or are you judging yourself harshly? You need to let go of any old feelings of hurt, shame, or guilt in the relation uh, to your sexuality. If you are in a relationship, you need to bring some romance back and spice things up. In order to make, a, uh, to make sex an incredible, fulfilling, seductive, uh, exhilarating and orgasmic experience you need to let go of your defenses and fears of being in intimate with your partner Rel relinquish control and dive into unguarded ecstatic blissful passion be creative communicate with your lover and find new and exciting ways to thrill each other action you need to love your body stand in front of the mirror naked and discover what is beautiful about your physical appearance place your hands on your sacral center I can't. I was going to say I have it, but I don't. Oh, do you know what the song is on now? Uh, I Invented, uh, Invented Sex uh, featuring Drake by Trey Songs. That just tell you where we are, right? It says, place your hand on your sacral center, put on some sexy music, and move in a central, creative, uninhibited, un uninhibited way. Do this every day for the next two weeks. If you are in a relationship, make a romantic date with your partner that will include some love and passion. Start with a sensual or erotic massage and take it further. Ask each other what will give what what will give you pleasure and be willing to create and be willing be willing to be creative and try new things. If you if you are game explorer, the power if you are game, sorry, if you are game, explore the power of feminine and masculine pol polar polarities. So there you have it. That's what we are focusing on doing, sen uh, sexuality. So we're focusing on the things that <laughs> the alchemy, the sexual arts, discovering your life's true purpose and sexuality. So this all is, you, I am bidding sex is what Trace Song's song is on. So that was a good uh, energy. Now we're going to pull from um what is this the quantum oracle uh these are tarot type energies in regards to what it is that we need to focus on when it comes to us releasing moving forward letting go and just being there and working and focusing on ourselves if that makes sense so i'll put those right there and we're gonna pull these cards here okay so deception came out on. deception came out and in deception if you look at this card this person is back there behind behind them talking about the other person so there is some type of deception that is causing you to feel um like you have to move forward or do something uh in your in your previous life this i mean your previous life this could be third party energy this could be some type of lies lies betray betrayals or just uh you know, co-workers, cousins, friends, family, people are deceiving you or people are talking about you when it comes to certain things. Do I do? 
Hold on. They're texting me. <clears throat> Hold on. You can... Sorry about that. Um, yeah, so, you know, deception is happening. Those are events. And then the next one is a healing light. So, nobody can be deceiving if you're healing yourself. And deception can come in regards to you learning that experience of healing, you know. Deception can come uh, when you are healing and not worrying about what nobody else thinks. You know, um, what energy is this? Uh, hold on, I'm trying to think of what energy. Oh, Queen of Wands energy. Confidence shines from the inside when you love yourself, own your flaws, and rock it without caring what others think. So healing heart. Deception. Nobody can be deceiving to you or you don't worry about the energy when you're focusing on yourself. Remember, it says go in the mirror and do things that you wouldn't normally do and not worry about what somebody else is thinking. We also have loss. There can be some energy of not necessarily a loss. This is kind of like the um, like the death card Uh uh, uh, death card is ending that makes transformation re and rebirth possible. So again, you're changing the way you do things and that could be at a loss or you could be at a loss when it comes to how somebody is, uh, you know, b because of this energy, but you know what? Nothing, none of this stuff moves me. Remember that. Remember that affirmation. None of this stuff moves me because of the fact that there is nobody else's energy that can play a role in how you feel. You know, they could, a loving woman. So, yeah, this could be your energy or this could be somebody's energy when it comes to how you how you perceive yourself. Once you heal, you have to change. The deception can make you change and start to heal, but the loving woman could be your energy. And this is why people uh, are talking about you. Like I say, when you decide to heal a certain way, people always have their comments. When you decide to listen to Tarot, oh, she's this because she listens to Tarot. Your friends and colleagues are the ones that will get you through this. So, uh, family, friends, new friends, new energies, going to sit at a bar and just hanging out because, and meet, meet new friends, you know, finding a different group of people because you cannot explore yourself if people make you feel a certain type of way. So I'm going to go ahead and pull from, oh, sorry, that hurt in my ears. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pull from regular tarot in regards to this loving woman. And look at the way I place these cards now. Uh, yeah, the loving woman is the hermit energy. So the only way you can become this loving woman is if you heal yourself. If you go within, you have material detachments, material and mentally, mental detachments. And so that is where the loss comes in at. Because if you get to this energy where you don't care and you're going within to make sure you are taking care of yourself, this can cause air ener different energies. When, Like I say, nobody knows who what you're listening to. Nobody knows what you're watching. Only if you tell them and put them in your energy. But sometimes, like I said, it took me a long time to get my family to understand that I have a gift when it comes to different things. And, you know, <clears throat> no, I'm not anime bullet, you know, from, okay, if you have a particular age from ghosts, you know, where they're walking around talking to me. No, the universe is on my side, and that's just how I see it. You know, no, I'm not bringing in negative energy or bad energies or, you know, devil-like energies. No, I'm not doing that. I'm looking at different ways and different perspectives of how the universe works. And with that, that is the hierophant energy, um, also the high priestess energy, you know, something that can be only understood through experience. I understand a lot because of the experience experiences that I've went through and the things that I'm willing to explore when it comes to healing myself. And that's where the healing light comes in. So I'm going to also uh, clarify this lost card and the deception card. I hope you could see this. And then in a minute, I'm going to pull from my empath oracle deck cancer because yeah, those are the feelings of what I go through when I'm, when I, when I either feel lost, when I feel like I'm, you know, trying to, um, you know, going to hermit mode and her, yeah, Terry, look, loss, moving forward. This is what I'm saying. The loss, the loss is moving forward. The loss is this energy here. You're losing these people who you've been around forever because they can't understand the healing that you're going through. So there is a loss. There's cancer card is sitting right here. This is our re cancer. There is a loss because you are moving forward with how you're healing yourself. Look at her. She's sitting in this force with the fire on doing something different she's meditating and it said that in that card 
in one of these cards, it said, I think it was the alchemy card. It's like she's meditating. She's figuring out what it is, you know, and that is strange to people who don't understand what healing really is. You know, it's not judging somebody for who they are. It's understanding that everybody is different, you know. So we're going to clarify the deception card here. The card that came out is Knight of Cups energy. So the Knight of Cups energy is, um, uh, sorry, <clears throat> Always follow your heart. It will never lead you astray because it knows things your mind can't explain. So that is the deception. You're following your heart. You're getting away from this energy. This is the energy that, like I say, <clears throat> excuse me, will cause us to feel like we need to walk away. And if we get to this point of the Knight of Cups, excuse me, of the deception, which is seven of, let me see what the seven of sword, seven of events is. Hold on one second events the seven of events seven of events is betrayal manipulation yeah when we feel like hold on uh, there's some kind of manipulation. It says a woman works at a desk with two co-workers whispering behind her. There is a warning there there is a warning warning here so beware things are not always what uh they seem someone close to you may not ha uh have your best interest at heart and in fact uh could actually be working against you this could be the person at uh or people at work or it may be a friend so again uh or family member it could be it could be it could manifest as a settlement manipulation or come in um in the form of significant betrayal if you're embroiled in in a legal battle there may be information that's being hidden from you the deception may be more personal uh it, excuse me the deception may be a more personal one however is is there something you're ignoring or lying to yourself about could your be uh, could blah, 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 why am i having this issue uh, could you be betraying yourself in choices or in the way you treat or talk to yourself Remember I said that we're all working on ourselves, discovering your true life purpose. It says, um, whatever uh, may be going on, don't panic. Whether it's inner or outer issues, you can stand up for yourself. Be, uh, you deserve honesty, respect, and support. Give these to yourself and request the same from others. Choose to act on your own behalf as you do. Uh, you will attract increasing support. Affirmation, right? Get ready for this affirmation. I deserve to be treated with honesty, dignity, and grace. I request from up that I request that from others and give it to myself. Again, I deserve to be treated with honesty, dignity, and grace. I request that from others and give it to myself. So this is what you're releasing. Whether, like I say, it could be your energy, and that's why you're going within. You know, this could be your energy, or it could be. And, and you just moving on and doing something different. But any way it goes, like I said, it could be, you know, this could be inner healing because you're focusing on loving yourself with the sexuality and the alchemy card. Remember, you're focusing on loving yourself. And so this could be your energy or this could be an energy of someone that, that's around you. So remember with the alchemy card, the path you are on is about to go through a very powerful transformation. Nothing is how it seems remember it says that that so that is the path that you're on it's self-discovery so you could be going through this with the person but these are the things that you need to heal and release right you need to heal from and release and so that's where i'm at at the bottom of the deck is page of cups energy right page of cups energy is let your imagination run wild imagination is the fuel of dreams and the dreams the uh and dreams dreams the fuel of creation Okay, so that is the Page of Cups energy. So um, I think that that's what we're going on. I'm going to go ahead and pull from my Empath Oracle deck. Remember, these are energies that I feel, 24 energies that I feel that either can keep me going, make me fear. Look, that card came out. Fear fell out. So fear. This is you uh, discovering your life purpose and sabotaging yourself because of fear, because of the unknown. You don't know where you're going. You don't know where you, how you're going to get there. But you have the strength, the bottom of the deck. You have the strength. So please like, share, subscribe. Remember, red hearts if you made it through it. Purple hearts if it resonates. Green hearts if you're working on it. Um, please like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell notification so you can get notified when I come on. Um, also, check me out on Patreon. 
um, under Phoenix Empath Intuitive. Also, Anchor Podcast, Phoenix Empath Intuitive. Um, I have a cancer-only channel under the World is Waiting, excuse me, under the Phoenix Empath Intuitive Tarot channel on YouTube. If you're catching this on there or on the World is Waiting Tarot on YouTube as well. But please like, share, subscribe. You know, like I said, this is a journey that we're going on. I think I want to pull one more card because I'm not finished. I think it's the angel answers. So, did we get the answers that... Oh, fudge. Hold on. Let's start this over. We're going to pull energies from here to see what it is that we're trying to learn from this read. You know, did we learn what it is that we need to release and let go? Okay, first of all... We're abundant. This is too many cards. It's no need to worry. Romance. Romance. Remember, it's all up to you. <laughs> you're in her hermit mode, so you're recovering and listening to your intuition. That's what I'm saying. That's what we're working on. Bottom of the deck is forgiveness. Forgive yourself. All right, I'm going to go ahead and end this read because my mother is calling. Don't let fear stop you, Cancer. Bye-bye.